fleeing Castro's communistic regime and uh, my family had, my grandfather actually came here in 1960 and so my parents sent five of the kids here and I was one of the five and have been here ever since. We moved from Lake Harbor to Coulston in 1963. So I have the same friends that I had uh, from kindergarten. the commission in 1999. Um, growing up here in Coulston, I, I realized that I wanted to be more involved in what was happening in the community and so uh, one of the commissioners, current city commissioners at that time, was retiring and so he decided that he wanted to, to get off the commission and I thought it was a great time to go on the commission. And so in 1999 I was elected to the city commission and then in 2001 um, we had a organizational change and I became the mayor and it's, I've told everybody, it's not been the easiest thing I've ever done, but I'm a better person for it because I've learned so much. More involvement with the community is really the, the main, major, major difference. Um, going to a lot of meetings, being the, the city spokesperson, um, having fun by, by being a part of, of the community. Uh, even though I did a little bit of that as a city commissioner, as a mayor, uh, invited to a lot of functions, representing the city. So it was, it was a change. It's been a change and, and I've been uh, on the city commission again since 1999 and mayor since 2001. There's been a few changes of course and I guess um, just in the whole, over the past two years, almost, almost two years, I guess looking at um, how we see ourselves, how the community see it, sees itself. You know, we've been such a holy based ag community and uh, with this um, transition upon us, you know, it's something that it took a little getting used to, but I think that most people realize, in the community, most people realize what we have here. We have a real treasure of a community uh, and that uh, to share that with other people. When the announcement was made, in June of 2008. Um, I think for the most people in the, in the Coulston community, it just, it's just stopped us. It stopped us completely because it was our whole way of life and it has been our whole way of life since Coulston started in 1922. So I think it, it just took, took everybody aback. I think that as a year transitioned and as we saw changes, uh, we realized that um, you know, even in the midst of turmoil, even in the midst of things not being exactly everyday normal, mm -hmm. that there's opportunities for growth, there's opportunity for learning. Um, so now at this point, where we're at today, we definitely see this as a perfect opportunity to prepare for the future. I think that, as I said earlier, that our future is bright, and I, and I realize that there's so many, we're, I don't want to say we're a blank canvas because we are based in agriculture, and I think if we can we can build upon that foundation with alternative energy, with any byproducts of agriculture, and bringing in new ag products, I think that that will only strengthen us for the future. The Lori Initiative is essential for our transition, not only as a community but as a region, uh, working together with other partners, state you know, federal, local communities, elected officials from those communities, and not just the focus of what's within our city limits, but working with other communities who are facing similar struggle, struggles. And so we certainly need uh, the Lori Initiative through the Collins Center and, you know, the graciousness of the Everglades Foundation and the Water Management District to help us transition to become um, that vibrant, viable city that I talked about earlier. I think that it's important that all the Southern Rim communities, from Pahokee to Moorhaven, work together. Um, I think that we have several common threads. Okay. Lake Okeechobee, agriculture, our location. So I think it's important that, as, that all the communities work together um, to, to help promote our area. Okay. 
Well, right now, I think to me, when we talk about economic development, the most important thing that we can do for economic development is to have the infrastructure in place. And so that's what our focus has been. Um, as I said earlier, you know, we have some people who are interested in our community, but for us, what we realized when we took an inventory of where we were at in 2008, we realized that there were certain projects that had to be completed and, and to partner with the county, you know, and with Southwest Florida, to try to meet those goals of those infrastructure jobs or infrastructure needs, and we're, we're, we're there. Um, I guess I see the future of Coulston being a, being a diverse community, but, but still holding on to traditional values, being proud of being in a, far, a farming community, being proud of, of the location of where we're at, which is so important for our success, and that is Lake Okeechobee. That is, you know, the midpoint between the east and the west coast. Uh, we've said before many times that um, we have Lake Okeechobee at our front door and the Everglades at our back door. So I think that uh, our future is bright. Our future is exciting. Um, do we have all the answers? No, but I'm excited about the future and I'm excited about Coulston. <laughs>